What is Gitflow? Gitflow is a branching model for the Git version control system created by Vincent Dreisen in 2010. The Gitflow branching model is at the heart of the SDLC used by LifeOps. One of the key benefits of using Gitflow is that it makes parallel development manageable by isolating new development from finished work. The Gitflow process makes use of permanent branches, temporary branches, and tags to achieve its goals. Let's start with discussing the permanent branches used in Gitflow. As the name implies, these branches will exist at all points in the software lifecycle. In the Gitflow model, there are two permanent branches in the repository, the master branch and the develop branch. The master branch is a permanent branch where source code reflects the production ready state of your software. In other words, this branch should have the source code of your latest release in it. The develop branch is a permanent branch where source code reflects the latest completed development features intended for the next release. Some might call this the integration branch because it is the destination for all newly completed features. There are three types of temporary or supporting branches used in the Gitflow process. Feature branches, release or staging branches, and hotfix branches. A feature branch should be created for each new feature or non-emergency bug fix and should be started from the develop branch. While the new feature is under development, all changes will be committed to that feature branch. Once the feature is completed, the feature branch should be merged back into develop and the branch deleted. Release branches or staging branches are created from the develop branch when the develop branch has obtained all the desired features for that release. This provides a staging area for that release that can be used for minor bug fixes or other small preparations needed before creating the final release. Using a temporary branch for this frees up the develop branch to continue taking new features while the release is being tightened up. Once the release is complete, the changes made in that branch should be merged into both the develop and master branches. Finally, hotfix branches are created when a bug is found in the production code. In this situation, we cannot fix the bug from the develop branch because that branch may have taken new features since the time we created the production release. For this reason, we create the new hotfix branch from the master branch. Once the hotfix has been completed, the code must be merged into both the develop and the master branches. Tags are used whenever a new release is created and merged into the master branch. The source code for each release is always available by its corresponding tag. I hope this gave you a basic understanding of the Git flow process and some of the key benefits to using it in your software development lifecycle. At LifeOps, we use Gitflow to deliver stable software without sacrificing speed of new development. If you're interested in learning more about Gitflow, I've included links to the original Gitflow blog entries by Vincent Dreisen. I'm Jerome, and I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Cheers.